Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Reviews. In this video, I'll be showing you NetMirror AI powered screen sharing app honest review. So, in this case, NetMirror here, the site netmirror.app, presents itself as a handy screen sharing and streaming tool. Basically, a way to mirror your phone or computer screen to other devices and, according to their site, to access large libraries of movies and shows with one click playback. Now, on paper, that sounds useful. M uh, mirror your screen, stream contents on a TV, share presentations, and that sort of thing. Now, when where things get sticky here is how NetMirror operates. Now, the app encourages download from outside official app stores and even suggests workarounds for iOS, which kind of reaches of the first practical concern here side loaded APKs and unofficial installers that can carry privacy or malware risk. Now, security checkers and reputation sites don't give it a clean bill of health, so platforms or websites like Scam Advisor here and similar scanners flag the domain with caution. And some malware scans report have shown warnings. And that doesn't automatically mean the app will infect your device, but it does mean that there's a measurable risk if you install it from unknown sources. Because again, we don't know where it's actually coming from or if it's actually approved by uh, platforms like uh, Google, uh, Google Play Store or something similar to that. And also, there's the legal angle here. Now, NetMeter itself uh, touts access to content from paid services like Netflix or Disney Plus. And there's no evidence of official license licensing or partnership and multiple write-ups point that streaming paid world content without authorized uh, authorization here can be illegal depending on where you live. So even if the app technically works, using it to access premium content that could put you on a shaky legal ground. Now, there's the experiences or what the people are actually experiencing inside the app or with using the app. Now, on Reddit here and other forums, some people or some users here say that they scanned the downloads and saw antivirus detections or inconsistent behaviors. Now, other reports that the app didn't work reliably, those community posts aren't definitive, a uh, definitive verdict here, but they are, they are useful signals here about trust and reliability. Now, putting it together, NetMirror isn't an obvious fraud that vanishes with your money, but it comes with major red flags here that uh, you may want to take note or notice here. Now, that includes security, malware risk, and side-loaded installs, so potential copyright and legal issues around unlicensed, unlicensed streaming, and also some user report problems. So, in short, should you use the app? Well, for me, it's kind of risky for me to use but it, it it all depends for you if you want to take the risk but then again based on what we're seeing it's a bit too risky and that's about it so if you found this video avoid the like and subscribe button and watch our next video